Hello and welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. This is Pritesh. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, why businesses have started to prefer container based architecture versus virtual machine uh, based architecture and what difference does it really make uh, and if you have not really adopted it as as a business uh, this will probably help you to understand why you should start thinking about it so let's get started so before i begin i just wanted to give you a, a very brief overview of uh, you know why uh, containers uh, you know uh, began as as a concept in the first place so back in the day in 2007 or 8 uh, when the first uh, you know linux project project was launched uh, with with such a thought process and such an architecture uh, the the idea was very simple they wanted to get away from uh, the thought of having a bulky virtual machine and having to manage small uh, uh, you know parts of those virtual machines which were essentially time consuming and they were really repetitive in nature as far as task management is concerned so they sort of packaged the whole thing in uh, in a container that's where uh, you know the name comes from uh, and um, and uh, essentially make it ready for or anybody to utilize and when it's not needed just uh, remove it or replace it uh, with with something else right so that was that was the idea and that's where the uh, uh, you know the e eventually it led to the evolution and adoption of what we call microservices today right so i'll explain microservices in another video uh, a little bit more in depth but that was just to give you a brief overview of why we are stressing on uh, the fact that you need to adopt to container based architecture if you've already not done that uh, so let's start with the parameters so first of all the installation part right so over here uh, it is definitely time consuming because um, you uh, do a lot of things uh, which which you don't really do there which means uh, you uh, you know uh, on the on top of your infrastructure you have your uh, operating system the host operating system and on top of that host operating system you uh, you are deploying uh, a hypervisor to to be able to virtualize whatever you're virtualizing and then in every virtual machine you are independently uh, installing a, an operating system of its own and then it's running its own app with its own dependencies inside that a specific virtual machine so that's why it, it is time consuming you can't do it at scale it's probably best suited for small businesses small companies where it, they don't really have a need to scale or have many users internally or externally as well as far as containers is concerned is not time consuming at all because it comes with a full package with all of these things pre-installed all you need to do is fire up a container image using the container uh, uh, software that you utilize it could be things like docker or, or many other softwares available in the market and that's why you save time here it's not uh, it's not as time consuming as it used to be uh, with virtual machines uh, the second part is is a very important aspect which is essentially software dependency and with virtual machines it's it's very uh, uh, you know very much prevalent because um, uh, of the fact that it is uh, going to have dependency on two levels one is that the host operating system level where there are certain softwares which only are compatible with that uh, specific host operating system and then on the virtual machine itself the operating system that you use there maybe it's Linux and your application only supports Windows right so you can't use that uh, out of the box you then have to virtualize that machine create a separate Windows uh, based uh, you know virtual machine inside that uh, environment and then be able to uh, you know sort of reduce that dependency so dependency is always there when it comes to software uh, on the virtual machine side but over here it is it is very flexible you don't really have that kind of a dependency uh, you know when it comes to uh, if you compare it to how it, it works in virtual machines uh, then there is packaging uh, why we why we use this term packaging is because to my point earlier how everything is done as 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 one full packaged inside uh, you know inside a container one full package done inside a container and uh, that's not the case here you you're still managing the whole thing in different services and you're bringing it all together yourself so uh, this doesn't really uh, you know make sense as far as virtual machine is concerned but it's very much there as far as containers is concerned um, then uh, we talk about a process here so this is essentially the software development life cycle where you go from development to staging to production to shipment and across all of these stages 
uh, you might you know hit a few blips you might have to test and you know uh, sort of modify a lot of things and some things might not work so over here this process is not seamless it 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 will definitely consume a lot of time during this process because uh, of the fact that there is this uh, dependency on installation and software and and every other thing which is not packaged very well which is why this is not going to be a seamless process but over here you can do it seamlessly provided you use the right tools you you know uh, you have a know how of what kind of architecture there is uh, of your of your container and you you know adopt the right practices so remember devops is always about uh, the the mindset and the culture and and how you collaborate with each other as opposed to just using the technology out of the box right so if you don't adopt the practices uh, uh, you know which which are essentially the fundamental practices of devops then even the container environment might be useless for you or maybe it will consume more time as opposed to what it's meant to be uh, then comes the isolation part and this is very important because that's essentially why we shifted from virtual machines to containers one of the core reasons why uh, this happened in the first place and isolation it's it's nothing but uh, having your own space defined inside the infrastructure that you use right so uh, think of it as uh, having a capacity of uh, let's say uh, 100 gig uh, gigabytes uh, you know when it comes to storage uh, specific uh, designated ram specific designated os and when you deploy an application can that just simply be isolated and be designated a specific capacity out of that overall capacity that you hold for your infrastructure right so that is essentially the isolation part over here it's not really it's isolated but it's not really an ideal isolation way but over here it's fully isolated you you don't have to worry about uh, you know one uh, you know taking space for another or one taking so much load that the other one cannot uh, you know function properly so that's that's where the whole inception of isolation became very prevalent as far as containers is concerned and last but not the least most most important part is obviously scalability you you can't really scale at will when it comes to virtual machines you you can if you put uh, a lot of people on the job but that's not really the point why would you want uh, to be in a situation where you have to manage the whole thing with number of resources and waste your time to do all of this when you can simply containerize an app and uh, you know scale uh, and by scale i also mean being able to use the modern day tools which are actually meant for containers right how can you use and leverage kubernetes how can you use and leverage uh, the modern container platforms uh, how can you use infrastructure automation how can you use uh, you know many other uh, security softwares which which essentially complement this entire uh, you know stack and story for for uh, containers and virtual machines so uh, this sort of completes the the full uh, flow of uh, and the key differences as to why you should opt for containers versus virtual machines and what's best suitable for uh, for a business i hope uh, this was this was useful and uh, uh, you liked it uh, please uh, uh, like and share uh, you know share it with your friends your family and until next time this is pritesh signing off from cloud tech talks thank you